While SpaceX has been limelighted for its progressive huge steps in space exploration, Blue Origin's relatively understated progress has just made a wave of discussions. Specifically, NASA announced its new Glenn rocket would propel two scientific satellites towards Mars by late next year. This is like a life-changing opportunity for Blue Origin, opening a new chapter in the space race with SpaceX. But does New Glenn have the capability to accomplish this mission and surpass SpaceX? Or is it still just a turtle yet to reach the finish line? Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The maiden flight of Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket seems to have a payload. Instead of launching a sports car as SpaceX did with a first Falcon Heavy rocket, Jeff Bezos' space company may launch a pair of Mars exploration probes for NASA. At a meeting on November 20th, NASA was very excited about the mission. They would send two scientific spacecraft to the Red Planet aboard the first Blue Origin New Glenn rocket in August next year. Meanwhile, Musk's SpaceX company was initially set to carry the NASA payload on a Falcon Heavy rocket in October of this year, alongside NASA's Psyche mission, which was bound for an asteroid. However, the space agency pulled the additional crash from the launch because the Falcon Heavy wouldn't put them on the proper trajectory to insert them into Mars orbit. The new timeline announcement comes shortly after Musk's Starship rocket, the ship he wanted to use to ferry crews to the moon and eventually Mars, blew up in a second launch attempt. This has raised NASA's concerns regarding SpaceX. It seems that they are worrying about SpaceX's other missions, while the company is supposed to be focused on the Starship program. In February, the Jeff Bezos-owned aerospace biz was awarded the Escape and Plasma Acceleration and Dynamic Explorers, or Escapade, contract under the Space Agency's Launch Service Program. The Escapade payload includes twin probes designed to study how the energy and momentum of charged particles in solar wind affect Mars's magnetosphere and influence the planet's climate. Blue Origin enters the ring as the first private space company NASA's contracted to go to Mars. NASA's decision in this latest chapter in the billionaire space race between Elon and Bezos, which earlier this year saw each company win separate multi-billion dollar contracts with NASA to go to the moon. If Blue Origin can meet the mission schedule, it will be the first rocket to fly to Mars. Of course, in this case, it would outpace SpaceX. Bradley Smith, director of NASA's Launch Services Office, said, It's an incredibly ambitious first launch for New Glenn, and we really appreciate the partnership. He also asserted that Escapade launch has been scheduled for August 2024. Despite such ambitious plans, New Glenn is currently sitting idle in the factory, and no one knows if it's ready or not. This uncertainty raises doubt about whether it can deliver the spacecraft on time or not. To be honest, skepticism about this timeline is understandable, as Blue Origin has always been a relatively secretive company when it comes to the production process of its projects. The company's motto, Gratidim Ferociter, Latin for Step by Step Fiercely, reflects its approach to establishing a fair and just space civilization. Ironically, this production method has led Blue Origin to be perceived as slow, and we have yet to see any fierce steps taken. The initial launch of Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket was originally planned for 2020, but currently it is delayed by a staggering four years. As a rocket enthusiast myself, I am also quite eager for New Glenn's first test flight. They might still surprise us, but once again, it seems unlikely. The prospects for New Glenn's operations would likely improve significantly if Blue Origin enhances the reliability of the suborbital New Shepard rocket, which has been inactive for over a year since their incident last year. But so far, they're still at an impasse with this. Furthermore, a crucial concern is Blue Origin's lack of experience in launching anything into orbit. The challenges of an orbital flight are much more complex than what Blue Origin has done before, at higher speeds, faster. Therefore, besides the risk of further delays, New Glenn also faces the possibility of a very fragile outcome. It's fair to question whether New Glenn will truly be ready to launch within the next year. The company's launch pad at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida is complete, and rocket parts are being manufactured at Blue Origin's facility nearby. However, a full-scale New Glenn rocket has yet to be rolled out for testing, including propellant loading and wet dress rehearsals. Meanwhile, the Escapade mission assigned to Blue Origin by NASA is classified as a Class D mission, indicating that NASA views it as low priority but high risk. NASA is willing to accept a medium or significant risk of the mission, facing challenges in achieving success. The mission is classified as a Class D mission, meaning that NASA considers it a low priority but high risk mission. It will accept a medium or significant risk of being unable to carry out the mission successfully. 
NASA estimates the mission cost to be $79 million, a relatively small sum compared to billions it spent on its more extravagant projects, like the Space Shuttle, the International Space Station, or its James Webb Space Telescope. In other words, it's not the end of the world if Blue Origin's new Glenn Heavy Lift orbital launch vehicle blows up and destroys its payload in the process. It can be argued that while NASA has the right to award contracts, personally, I feel they're assigning missions that don't align with each company's purpose, which in turn causes challenges in their efforts to achieve success. Blue Origin's mission to commercialize Earth's near orbit, Bezos and others at the company have placed Mars in the long-term vision. But it's not their top priority. Outposts in space and on the moon are higher on the list. When we have millions of people living and working in space, we want to be able to go to lots of destinations, Blue Origins' Rob Meyerson said in 2016. Mars would be one of them. The moon would be the other. Meanwhile, Musk's eyes remain firmly fixed on Mars as our next home since 2001. And this NASA contract acts as a strong blow to the already intense relationship between these two billionaires, opening the latest chapter in their long-standing rivalry. Musk and Bezos regularly trade blows over expertise in contracts, not just with words, but lawsuits too. Back in September, Musk branded the Amazon founder a dilettante in space exploration for not spending enough time on his company, Blue Origin. But Bezos quickly shot back that Musk's own staff believed that he rarely knew as much as he claimed, according to a book by Walter Isaacson. Earlier that same month, an Amazon shareholder lawsuit was launched saying the company snubbed SpaceX for valuable satellite launch contracts because of Bezos' personal rivalry with Musk. Bezos has already intensified the quarrel by suing the U.S. government in 2021 over a NASA contract for a lunar spacecraft. Blue Origin was snubbed in favor of SpaceX for the making of the rocket that would take astronauts to the moon for the first time since 1972. Despite SpaceX avoiding any litigation, Musk quit back during an interview at the Code Conference that year. You cannot sue your way to the moon no matter how good your lawyers are. Although up to now, there are not many new conflicts that have arisen. It's impossible to say that they're on the same front line. With somewhat different goals and perceptions of the two founders, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk companies also go in two different directions. But Elon Musk's SpaceX has surpassed even leading Blue Origin now over two years. SpaceX has a very Silicon Valley approach to development. Iterate quickly, test, and tweak. Blue Origin's approach, on the other hand, is more traditional. SpaceX has conducted numerous tests, including two full-stack Starship test flights, both of which ended in explosions. However, these were not failures, but rather valuable lessons, and SpaceX continues to plan Starship tests in the coming weeks. Even with significant delays, it will still fly before New Glenn. Achieving orbit is no easy feat, let alone reaching Mars, which poses even greater challenges. Especially for a massive spacecraft like Starship, SpaceX must accomplish unprecedented tasks, such as the unique controlled belly flop maneuver using heat shield structures and radiative cooling instead of aerogel insulation, in-orbit refueling, and oh yes, undertaking the journey of sending humans to Mars and developing these capabilities repeatedly with more long-term goals. SpaceX will continue testing early and frequently, as they always do, a practice Blue Origin has never undertaken with New Glenn. That's why SpaceX is certainly likely to achieve the initial operational phase before New Glenn becomes operational. And that's all for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below, because your feedback's very important to us and ultimately helps us make better videos for you to watch. And for that, we thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.